It is today December 9th and we are I think only 920. So we're 16 days away until Christmas. So I am going to talk you through my festive look that I'll be wearing for this evening's party. I've decided that I'm gonna try a dark plum lip, which looks a little bit vampy, but I think when you put the right eyeshadow with it, a little bit of like warm shimmer on the cheekbones and on the eyelids, then you get more of a kind of festive, warm look. So first I am going to use this product by Givenchy and it's called um, Mr. Radiant. Mr. Radiant. As you can see, it's like a little gel with little particles in it. It says, totally weightless, made to measure glow. These little particles, they blend in and give you a, like, a very kind of a browny, shimmery color. Can you see that? And then you just apply all over. And it's not like a summer glow, it's just a warm, kind of warming face glow. I'm not going for the sun-kissed look. This is quite different. So once you've blended it all in, all over the face, you can see that you get a really nice glow that makes you look really healthy and fresh. So then I use my foundation. Um, this is a nude honey from Givenchy. Um, it's called Blurring Foundation Balm, SPF 15. Not that we really need any SPF or much, given this weather. I put it in the section so that I know that it's really even. And then I just blend it in. I put it all over my face, including the under the eyes, because even though I'm gonna put concealer over the top, I think it's a good foundation base. What I really love about Givenchy, this balm, is that while it's not too much, it also really stays on the skin, so you don't have to worry about reapplying over again during the course of the night. Okay, that's the foundation done. The concealer I like to use is this one by MAC, and this Pro Longwear Concealer is amazing. What I really like about it is that it's really light, it doesn't clump, it doesn't crack, it doesn't dry you out. And there's a couple of places where I put the concealer. So firstly, under the eye, and I just lightly dab with my brush. I put it where the light hits, so you kind of want it in the T-zone section. So I put it down here because I have a bit of rosacea here and, I, and it gets rid of the redness. I like to put it on the nose because I have a little bit of discoloration, a little broken vein or something here on my nose at the moment, maybe it's a spot. Um, and then um, I like to put it um, on this section. You just have to make sure because concealer is a lot thicker than foundation that it's really rubbed in. I think that's it for the foundation and concealer. Now on to the contouring. I love this Tom Ford palette. Uh, it's so, so good for really chiseling the face. I use the same brush that I use for my foundation and I first apply the brown one by just dabbing it and it's sort of cream so it really nicely melts into the skin. And I just do it below the cheekbone. Then, using the other side of the brush, you just want to use the little bit of white on the top here and just apply like that. And a little bit. So I've decided that I'm going to use this gorgeous palette from Givenchy and it is the Prism Quater Ombre Regard Eclat A Entossant, okay my French is not that good, Intense and Radiant Eyeshadow, four colours. Number, this is number six, Confidence. 
So it comes with two little brushes. Let's see how we get on with them. It's my first time using this, so if it doesn't work, then I will change with my own brushes. The first one I'm gonna use is this little light one here. On the back of the side. Using this one. Gently smoke it over the eye. You can wipe it, you can spread it all over except the inside of the eye. I avoid that because that's what really makes the eyes open. On the middle, I use the green. Then using this brush, I like to put the brown. Yeah, now we are going to do the eyeliner. So I got this eyeliner from Tom Ford and what's really great about it is eyeliner pen and it's 01 deeper. So on one side it's got this big point and then on the other side it's got a much slimmer point so you can choose how you want to do it. For me this today I'm going to use the slimmer one because I don't really want the eyeliner to be too noticeable. As you can see, it really makes a big difference. Now for the eyebrows. So, this Tom Ford color um, for the eyebrows is great. Brow Sculptor 04 Espresso and I just brush up so it's very easy to see the gaps Then, using the other side of my brush, I just comb it up and blend it in. Once that's done, back to this palette. To highlight. Now we are going to use the mascara. So I like to curl my lashes first. Hold for about five seconds and let go. For mascara, I love this Givenchy mascara. It's quite different than your usual um, mascara. It has this little kind of ball at the end, spiky ball. It looks like a bit like a torture instrument, but no. This is really good because it gives a natural look to the eyelashes. That is um, the mascara now, and I think it's actually worked really well because it's got in right into the root and like lifted it, and it's been quite easy to apply to each individual lash using this little ball as opposed to the kind of the wand. If you do go wrong with any of the mascara, it's always good to use a little white cotton bud and just take it off where you have placed it. Okay, now we are going to do the lipstick. To keep the lipstick in place, I like to use the a little bit of concealer and put it on over my lip. It makes the color of the lipstick really pop. Using this lip liner by um, Charlotte Tilbury in um, very naughty. Love that. Um, I'm just going to go on the outside. Over the top, using a Charlotte Tilbury, Glastonbury. It's really nice and purpley and plum. 
Now, this is a really nice purple colour, but I want it a bit darker and a bit richer, so I used this Tom Ford over the top. So this is a combination of colours. And it's like a dark browny red. So, using a powder to set the makeup. I love this little one by Givenchy. Basically, put on your little mitt. And I'm such a sucker for these things. And then you go like this, shake. And then you just use it to set the makeup. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you see my next videos.